So for Life Under the Sea Week, I wanted to give you all some interesting facts on some sea creatures. Um, the first one we're going to talk about is the seahorse. And you all know, I know you saw picture or movies and things like that, um, cartoons that have seahorses in them. So we are going to do some interesting facts on seahorses. There are 47 species of seahorses. Seahorses have no teeth and no stomach. I did not know that, so I don't know how they eat and how they digest their food, but apparently they do. Seahorses use their dorsal fins to propel slowly forward. Now, I've seen those in cartoons how the seahorse, they swim. So, I, I kind of knew that, but I didn't know how to word it. To move up and down, seahorses adjust the volume of air in their swim bladders. Well, that's pretty cool. The male seahorse carries the eggs in his pouch for two to three weeks before giving birth. So male seahorses give birth instead of females. That's interesting. The seahorses can have as many as 2,000 babies at a time. Wow, that's a lot. The lifespan of a seahorse is approximately three years. Okay, so those are some interesting facts on the seahorse. All right. Next, we're going to talk about a jellyfish, and if I'm not mistaken, I think Miss Ashley had a craft that you guys made a jellyfish. So we need to know some things about the jellyfish. Um, some jellyfish are big as a penny, and some are super big. Jellyfish have no brains. A group of jellyfish is called a smack. The body of a jellyfish is made up of almost 90 to 94 percent water. So almost all of the jellyfish's body is water. And the jellyfish has a mouth on the bottom of the bell. So I guess that's on, underneath on the uh, jellyfish part. But there guys, there's some interesting facts and then there's a picture of the jellyfish. If y'all have ever been to an ocean or to a beach, I'm sure that you've been walking on the sand and you can see jellyfish um, sometimes come up on the sand. They're really interesting to see. And last but not least is Miss Jill's favorite animal in the whole wide world. Um, I love turtles and we're gonna talk about sea turtles. So this is not the best picture. It's very, very small, but everybody knows what a turtle looks like, and right there's a sea turtle, and that's a pretty big sea turtle, because that's up at, that's next to a lady. Look at that, cool. And this is talking about the sea turtle's mouth, the other picture. So, about the sea turtle, the largest of all sea turtles can grow up to seven feet long and weigh more than 2,000 pounds. That is very, very large. Most sea turtles have hard, bony shells and its shell is rubbery and somewhat flexible. So they're a little bit different than the kind of turtles that we see um, on the other side of the road or in our yards or anything. I think the, those turtles' shells are a little bit harder than a sea turtle. Um, a sea turtle can dive to depths of 4,200 feet. And um, female sea turtles often return to the same place they were born to nest their babies. So that's pretty cool. So they go back to where they were born to nest their baby sea turtles. The mouth and the throat have backward pointing spines that help retain prey. So that's kind of the picture that I was showing you all. See how their feet or their teeth go backward. So that's pretty cool. So there guys is a few interesting facts on the seahorse, the jellyfish, and Miss Jill's all-time favorite sea turtle. So I hope you guys are enjoying life under the sea, and Miss Jill will see you later. Bye!